I just want to inform you guys that this deck kind of rocks. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's Drip Drop. I hope you guys are doing well, and I want you guys to know that you are loved. Today's deck profile, we're going to go over the Lunatone Soul Rock deck. We have Lunatone here, 90 HP, is a psychic Pokemon. As a cycle draw attack, does help you in a pinch. For one psychic energy, discard a card from your hand if you do draw three cards. And then we have for three colorless energy, Moon Kinesis for 30 plus. For each psychic energy attached to your Lunatone, you'll hit for 30 more. So you can get, you can. Hit, I've, I've had the ability to get up to 10 energy on this and be able to hit for 330 HP. But that's not the coolest part about this deck. Um, the coolest part about this deck is this Soul Rock. This Soul Rock, it, this deck is nothing without this Soul Rock deck this card is the actual rock in this deck we have the ability sun energy once during your turn you may attach a psychic energy from your discard pile to one of your lunatone so these perfect partners right here they are very very good together so lunatone and soul rock and then you have your supporting pokemon we have a snorlax gormandize so i like to use the snorlax gormandize at the very beginning of the game most of the time so we can get a play all the cards in our hand and drop the seven with the ability remember that when you do play this ability though your turn ends you can also use snorlax later in the game you are a single prize deck mostly so you don't have to worry about like falling behind most of the time then we play a 2-2 line of mewtwo v and mewtwo v star mewtwo v star is really cool it has 280 hp for one psychic one colorless has psi Purge, and it's going to be hitting for 90 damage per discarded psychic energy on all of your Pokemon. You can only do that up to three, so you're hitting for 270 base if you discard all three, and then from there, just 90 per. You can have a choice belt on the Mewtwo to hit for 300, which is going to be out of range on pretty much most V Maxes. And then you have the V Star Power, which is one of the cool things about this deck, Star Raid, for one second, one colorless, this attack does 120 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon V. So if your opponent has Vs all on their board, you're going to be able to hit for 120 on each of those, and then just clean it up with Lunatone. Then we have Manaphy to protect the bench if needed. We do carry one copy of Radiant Greninja for the Concealed Cards ability. Discard an energy in your hand, draw two cards. Extremely helpful in being able to help you draw uh, for any cards that you may need. Then we have two energy switch to help get some psychic energy on the Mewtwo's in a pinch. We got one Hisuian Heavy Ball to get out a basic Pokemon out of our prizes. One Ordinary Rod for anything like if we need to get a Mewtwo V-Star, a Mewtwo V, maybe even a Snorlax. We got three Quick Ball to get basic Pokemon out. We got two Rescue Carrier, mostly for the Lunatone and Soul Rocks. Just brings two Pokemon 90 HP or less into your hand from your discard pile. We got three scoop up nets to get out of the active or to reuse a Soul Rock ability. We got two switches, four Ultra Balls. We got three Temple of Sinnoh. Very big fan of Temple of Sinnoh. It shuts down, kind of counters Reggie Rock, or not Reggie Rock, but the Reggie deck uh, slightly. It also shuts off Double Turbo, shuts off Rapid Strike, shuts off Single Strike energy cards so as long as it's attached to a pokemon what it does is it just provides one colorless energy and has no other effect so temple of Sinnoh, big fan of that in this deck we got two boss two marnie two research one raihan one roxanne for those spicy plays at the end then we have two choice belts and 14 psychic energy i'm excited to show you guys what this deck is capable of i think it's extremely fun and let's go ahead and check out the gameplay. I'll take the mulligan. I'll take it. I didn't want this hand anyways. But it looks like we're playing against uh, Jinx from League of Legends. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll gladly take a Lunatone. That. And I'll wait on the Mewtwo right now. I'll wait on the Mewtwo. Don't want to put that out just yet. But you best bet we're going to be cycle drawing. Thank goodness that Mew's going first. I hate going against Mew going second. Because usually they just donk. 
uh, active Pokemon regardless of the amount of HP that it has. But we about to see, we about to see the power. <laughs> and we're not, that's hilarious. Yeah, old cemetery me all you want, son. Do it. I dare ya. I dare ya. Okay, we got, we got four Genesex on the bench. Four Genesect. Hey, oh, Meloetta? Love a ball in for a Meloetta? Does Mew usually play level ball? Or am I just cray cray right now? Am I just dreaming? Got the Kramomatic. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. All right. Well, here one of these days it will be our turn. They're going to retreat into a Mew that does not have any of that on there. Um, before we do anything, though, we're going to go ahead and seal the cards. See what we got? Nice. I do like the Snorlax action. Go ahead and put that up. Go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and quick ball psychic energy and we'll grab a soul rock so we can go ahead and start building up this lunatone. We'll put the Mewtwo up mainly because that will probably be smarter for us. But Snorlax in the active. I'll go ahead and stall there by putting a Genesect in the active position. Doing a lot of stuff here, hoping everything works out. And then we're going to Gormandize for a big old seven going uh, next turn. So this hand ain't looking too bad now. Big, strong possibilities of us getting a big attack off. Elisa Sparkle. Hopefully they don't have any way to switch out. Just build it up. Build it up. We still have a Raihan too. Wish that Raihan could actually help a bit as well. How many we got? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're not going to worry about the Raihan right now. We got the scoop up net, so let's go ahead and see how everything's going to play out right now. So we're going to sun energy to Lunatone here. Sun energy again. Okay. And we could scoop up net the Snorlax out. We're gonna do that. Go ahead and see what's in our pride. Well, do I wait? Do I wait? Go ahead, put an energy in the discard. Draw two, okay. Okie dokie. So I could easily scoop up the snore, put up the Lunatone. What are we hitting right now? Hitting for 30 plus. So right now we're hitting for 120. Boom, put that up. Sun energy to the Lunatone there. Go ahead, put the Snorlax. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and Marnie. Go ahead and Marnie. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. All right here. I think we're going to be one short. I think we're actually going to be one short. Let's see. Boom. Oh, no. We hit it right on the doubt. Oh, damage increased to 210. Oh, Oh my goodness, I, I think I did my math wrong, actually. Sweet beans, we got the attack off. It's perfect. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. But unfortunately now we're about, <laughs> about to lose this Lunatone. Okay, they're going to put out Oricorio, most likely. Most likely. Oh, Meloetta. I thought they put Oricorio out there to be a little bit of a defensive measure. Do one, two, three, four, five. Five times 30 is 150. 180, 210. Okay, nice. I don't even know what, I, what math I was doing. Or maybe I was mathing too quick. Sweet beans. That's perfect. That's perfect. And it's really not too hard to get five energy onto a, a Lunatone, really. Okay, we got a Lunatone. Rachia. Let's see, what do I put up there? Do I put up the Snorlax? Yeah, we put up the Snorlax. We make sure we make sure things are happening first before we do before we do much. We're gonna grab the rescue carrier so we can grab that Lunatone out. Go ahead and add the energy. We got enough to do some stuff right here. Like that. And we can always get some damage off. But they can always either take out the Lunatone or take out the Snorlax, which is going to be helping me here. Do I have anything in there? Yeah, I don't want to take out the... I don't necessarily want to take out those. So we're going to Gormandize here. Nice. Or not nice. I really don't think that was too great. <laughs> really don't think that was too great but we have some potential here they could try to go after the Mewtwo try to go after the Mewtwo V-Star in which case that gives me go after the Lunatone here okay they're gonna go after the Mewtwo V-Star to be honest I'm, I mean I'm I'm decently okay with that because with this Lunatone here we have potential to donk that you somehow, somehow, some way, somehow, some way. Definitely, if we can get a research, because I think we have four research in the deck, and the fact that we have a soul rock here, so we can get another soul rock here, so we can get three. Out of the discard. Three psychic energy. They be digging. They're digging for something. I don't think they need to be digging that much anymore. They've already bossed up the Mewtwo. They're going to cross fusion strike for... Quite a bit. Now, when they Meletius Echo there... All special energy attached Pokemon, both yours, provide colorless energy and have no other effect. So is that, does that mean they're, they're still what they are? I guess so. I guess so. Go ahead, quick ball.
I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Lunatone out. We got Rescue Care still on deck, so we can Ultra Ball away. This and this. Keep that boss. Uh, go ahead, grab this other solar rock. Nice. And then we're just going to do some big damage. I think we're going to be doing 250 or something like that. Or 240. 240. 240. 240 damage. They're going to take three prizes. Need, we need a rock sand or something like that coming up we need something like that because now we got a soul rock we got some ways to switch out though I want to put Snorlax up just in case just in case yes we got this we got that nice all right Sun energy. Sun energy. And another sun energy. We're going to scoop up the snore boy. Snore boy. Um, I'm going to wait to put that Snorlax up. Mainly because there would be no point to have a Snorlax again after this. So we're going to go ahead and moon kinesis for the knock for the knock and uh we got the boss we got the boss and all we really need all we really need is a rescue carrier yes we got the rescue carrier unless we get marnie which Mew doesn't play any marnie Yeah, we got this. Oh, we got this. Because all we have to do is take out that beautiful Meloetta. Or the Oricoria Gorilla. But we are big chilling. Even if my heartbeat is not telling me so. We are big chilling. Tell you what. Even with all these big decks in format right now. Every time I see a Mew, instant, instant just sadness overcomes my body. Instant sadness. All right. Go grab this rescue carrier. We'll just grab two Lunatones. Bing, bang, boom. We'll put up another Soul Rock. It's a good thing we got this energy here um we're gonna go ahead and retreat into the lunatone then we're just gonna pile it on we be piling pile on number one we're gonna sun energy number three energize number four then we're gonna boss up the meloetta give them a good well played and then we're gonna send a spirit bomb their way and boom we got the win on Mew V Max. Oh no, we got a we got a Reggie Elecky that cannot be red. All right, we're gonna have the heavy ball here first. What do we go for? <laughs> we go for here. I think we go for the snore. The awkward, the awkward needing the snore. And I mean, if we're gonna, we don't really need the choice belt, so we'll just go ahead and throw it on there. Gonna go our Gorman dies for four. All right, we got some things to work out, work with for the next turn, but we know we have a Soul Rock and a Lunatone in the prizes, also on a Mewtwo. We don't have to worry about Mewtwo though. 
probably not going to be bringing Mewtwo out for this deck. Or maybe so. It does act as a good block as well as just being able to get damage out. Looks like they did not need the boss. But the Reggie Leggy deck is just fun to play. Fun deck to play. Let me know guys if you have if you if you've enjoyed playing the meta lately. I've really enjoyed just there's so many decks out there I just want to play. Alright, so we got the uh We've already got it. We got things going for him. Reggie Elecki should be able to get built up this turn. They do have a speed and twin energy in the discard. There we go. We got the Aurora energy, so they're going to be able to do some Reggie Elecki things. Reggie Elecki things. I think the math is just out of reach for us. Because we're hitting for 120 with a Lunatone. Nice. So we got another turn with the Snore Snore. Go ahead and get rid of a Psychic Energy in the discard. So we grab a Lunatone. Probably might need to grab... That Manaphy soon though. Go ahead and Arnie that. Arnie that hand. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right. So we can quick ball that away. And I'm, I'm pretty sure if we can't get this attack off here. I mean, we, we're going to be able to get the attack off, but we can't get this, we can't get this KO here. Uh, we're not going to be doing much. But we might, we might, we'll play it out. Don't worry, we'll play it out. We got Moon Kinesis for the knockout, because this is a 120 right there. That Reggie Elecky does have 120, but the rest of them have 130. As you can see, we're going to be able to, we're going to have to get several energy on there. And on this next turn, I don't think that they're going to be able to power up any one of these unless if they can get another Aurora, Aurora energy in the discard. Especially with the Ready Drago or the Ready Drago. You pretty much have to have, well, you have to have two Aurora and something else. So. As long as they, he can get another Aurora Energy in there, he'll be able to get off an attack. That is only if, though. Till then, I'm just gonna, gonna KO away. KO, but I can't KO no more. But it looks like they're gonna be able to get an Ultra Ball and be able to get a Reggie Ileki out of the deck again. I don't know why they wouldn't use the Stormy Mountains to get it out. <laughs> oh, I know. Because the Ultra Ball, they're trying to use the Dragon Horde ability. Which they could have failed that so they could get more. Okay, I see, I see. They're trying to clear. That's really not too great if you don't hit your rods. Don't hit your rods, you're gonna be out of luck. Okay, then we gotta research. Let's see if they don't whiff here. We might be good. We might be fine here. Because they weren't able to story mountains, they used all of their ultra balls. And most likely they're not gonna be able to dragon's horde the next turn. 
Interesting. We got a twin. Got a retreat cost of three, my friend. Pretty sure they all have that. Boom. Put up a soul rock. I'll put a soul rock up there. Energy Lotto. Right. Is Energy Lotto in the turn? No, it just messes. Alright. Did I have did I have this energy in hand? We're gonna retreat to the Lunatone. We can soul rock here. Boom. Uh, we can Hisuian Heavy Ball because we know we have a Lunatone in there. We can get another one built up on the bench while we wait. While we wait. And if they do knock this out, we're going to be able to get at least two energy off. And hopefully we can get another off. But we can move Kinesis for another knockout. Um, what they should have done is not had... Oh, whenever I use a Hisuian Heavy Ball, it puts my empty slot down there. Okay. I was wondering, because I was like, I just picked from up there. Should have used the twin energy on Regice to use Regigate so they could look for a poke there. But I wonder if they have two Regieleckis prized or, or what. Getting ready to Dragon Horde again this turn. Got another research. Oh my goodness, they are going through this deck. Okay, all right, nice. We found the Reggie Eleki. I might put the Gormandai Snorlax up, mainly because right now I'm winning the prize race. I'm two prizes ahead. If they take this guy out, this Lunatone out, I'll still be fine. I believe they got rid of one boss. So there's two in the deck. I mean, it's very likely that they have it in their hand. Very likely. No, Path of the Peak. Yeah, put the Snorlax up for the Gormandize. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon that don't have a rule box. Don't have a rule box, guys. Grab another Lunatone. I mean, not Lunatone, Soul Rock. And I kind of. I don't want to get this Manaphy out. But then I got Rescue Carriers. Hopefully, I can just land a Rescue Carrier soon. And I feel like I should get this Lunatone so I can have another one out. So we're going to Sun Energy here. Then we'll get two here. Actually, we'll just put one there. Boom. All right. So one to that one. Then we're going to Gormandize. Nice. Okay. We are golden now, pony boy. We are straight gold. Unfortunately for us, though, this Reggie Drago can hit for 160 damage. We'll still be ahead in the race, so we are fine. As long as we can get all the energy out. All the time. That's fine. That's fine. They sh probably won't have another boss. And that is why we had the other Lunatone. That's why we had the other Lunatone, guys. We will put the boss up there. I mean, the, not the Mew, the boss, but the Mew V. We'll get the Mu V. We're going to go ahead and Sun Energy first. Make sure I get 
three on there before I do any attaching of anything. All right, there we go. What I'm thinking about doing is Marnie-ing them. Marnie-ing. Marnie-ing. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll put that out first. We're going to Marnie. Boom. Boom. Like the Temple of Sinnoh, that helps out quite a bit. And then uh, we'll go ahead and mute Moon Kinesis. And I believe with the Temple of Sinnoh out, they should not be able to attack because it turns it into a colorless energy. It turns it into a colorless energy. So even if they get a Regidraga out and get the Regigigas to put the Aurora and Lightning Energy on the Regilecki, should be able to. They shouldn't be able to attack. So we'll see. We'll see if that works or not. I have a feeling it should work. At least that's the way I read it. Regice, Reggie Rock, Reggie Reggie, Energy Lotto. There we go. Aurora Energy. Quick ball away, the Aurora Energy. Nice. Got it all. They got it all. And a research? You, you want to play the game? You want to play the game, man? Is that what you're trying to do? Play the game? Goopin? Goopin' poopin' dude? Ooh, makes sense. Very good, very good, very good. I like that. I like that idea. You got two two twins. All right, playing the game here. We are. Playing the game. Yeah, I guess it didn't work out. And I guess it didn't work out for him. Provides a colorless energy not a double twin I believe so that stinks hope you guys enjoy that deck profile if you guys want to see any of my other deck profiles or even openings you can go ahead and click one of these videos right here and just like always I'll see you guys in the next video